Hello guys, so today I don't have a mic. Ouch, my mic, my mic's battery died, but uh, the phone's audio will, the phone's mic will suffice, I guess. If you're watching this channel for the first, first time, welcome. I make fragrance content. I'm very new to the game. I hope you like my video. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot to me. So in today's video, I'll be talking about fragrance TikTok. I've been seeing on my recommended page on YouTube that people are making videos on why you shouldn't buy fragrances from TikTok, blah, 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 blah. I have not seen those videos personally. I don't have the time. I work, you know, I got to make money. So <laughs> I didn't see that, see them, but I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I, I thought, you know what, I'll make I'll put a spin on it and give my two cents on the whole situation. So I'll give you three reasons why you shouldn't buy fragrances based off on TikTok or YouTube videos. So the first reason is everyone's senses, that is our nose, is different. So it's the perfect example is on TikTok itself. One fragrance TikToker will tell you, Limal Elixir is the best fragrance ever while or the best Limal Elo ever while some might say that Limal Le Parfum is the best Limal ever or and Limal Elixir is way too overhyped and it sucks I'm actually on the second board I don't like Limal Elixir that much I, I also prefer Limal Le Parfum but that does not mean that you might think the same you might completely disagree with me and that's totally fine everyone's senses are different like our taste some people like spicy food some people hate spicy food and there's nothing wrong with that it's it's, it's your taste it's your objective it's your, it's it's your subjective opinion and there's nothing wrong with it so my suggestion and my advice for, for this would be use your own nose to buy fragrances do not buy a fragrance just because some famous youtuber or some tiktoker said that this is the best fragrance is a 10 out of 10 fragrance ever like even those safest fragrances like dior sauvage and ysly some people find it too strong and too abrasive and they don't like it and there's nothing wrong with it right like i i personally disagree with those but it's again it's a personal personal uh, a personal subjective opinion and uh, just because of that just because of how much subjectivity there is on fragrances you shouldn't buy fragrances based off of what others are saying you might just end up buying something like this and uh, regret it it will just collect uh, dust right like you'll see all these fragrance tiktokers and youtubers having like 30 40 hundreds of fragrances behind them it's like a freaking fr fragrance museum do you want a fragrance museum if yes then i guess go for it but if you don't want to clean your shelf every day, which collects so much dust and uh, you don't want a fragrance museum, then please don't buy fragrances based off on TikTok. It's you're just wasting, uh, you're just wasting shelf space and you're probably going to regret your purchase. Secondly, um, is that it becomes an addiction and you end up buying way too many fragrances and uh, it's just gonna collect dust you don't need let me tell you this you don't need more than three to four fragrances that's it three to four different types of fragrances will do it for you you don't need more than that at most four right like um to generalize it i would say one should be versatile one should be for summer one should be for winter that's like you know sweet gourmandy and one should be like a party clubbing fragrance whatever right that's just a generalization of the types of fragrances you need but uh, again you might even just need one fragrance and you'll be happy with it right you don't need 30 40 fragrances you don't it's just because I, and I, i'm co coming to the frig uh fragrance tiktokers right they'll they'll say this fragrance is good then the other tiktoker will say this fragrance is ass it's it's bad and you're like you're left confused you don't know right so don't <laughs> sample it yourself just by if you if you really want to try out a fragrance please sample it sample it go to a department store try it on your skin 
and then make a decision on buying it otherwise he just is going to end up buying so much that it will just collect dust and you'll never ever use it and you'll kind of regret your decision of buying it right and the third reason why you should not buy fragrances is money and addiction right it's like buying okay i'm not going to say that actually it's like buying an addiction right you buy something you get hooked to it and you and next thing you know you have spent like 500 to 1000 dollars on just fragrances uh, and i'm not lying fragrance tiktok is actually the best example for it you'll see like 13 14 year olds having like okay i'm not going to again i don't have hate against these fragrance tiktokers i want to say that i'm just giving my two cents it's just my opinion and um you uh, i'm just giving you an example and this is true by the way i'm not making this up i've seen like a 14 year old tiktoker that makes fragrance content i'm not going to name names um bro has creed aventus absolute um bakra truj extra like the 540 extra like the deep red bottle like and uh, roja parfum Burlington 1861 Burlington that fragrance that bottle alone costs like it's close to a thousand dollars like what I know bro, bro's probably using his dad's credit card um but please don't do that I know most of the people who watch fragrance content are 18 to 24 year olds and um these people are the most like innocent and uh, easy to sway right and they're like victims they pretty much become victims and you probably are i don't i'm not saying that you shouldn't watch fragrance content if you like it for entertainment watch it but one thing if you want to avoid wasting your money um uh, and you know making your bank account cry is uh, and being in crippling debt <laughs> is by watching as little fragrance content as possible that's one of the things that fuels the fragrance uh, community and the content of fragrances it's addiction people want the new stuff they want then whatever is new in the market whatever is the most hyped in the market like right now it's camra ratafas camra uh, it's a good fragrance it's a really good fragrance i'm going to make a review on it actually very very soon i'm currently testing it uh but again you should probably try this fragrance out and then buy it uh please don't spend it i know it's a very cheap fragrance but still don't don't waste your money you probably should use that money elsewhere <laughs> you, you know your education your some investment you know save that money put it in some index fund make more money then buy fragrances you're still young don't spend it on fragrances please i'm begging you <laughs> not only will your bank account be, will be happy but even your parents will be like damn this guy's financially responsible right so that's my two cents on all this um it's not like uh you should not buy fragrances at all you should stop as i said three to four fragrances is all you need finish them then buy a new one or if you really want to try a fragrance sample it right or go to a department store and smell it by yourself and make a decision on that right um that's basically the takeaway from this video um i hope you like this video and my two cents on it um if you did give this video a like comment your opinions if you completely disagree with this i am very willing to hear your thoughts out and uh, uh talk to you guys in the comments and uh, again hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell if you really like this kind of content this really low key fragrance content nothing to over the top and uh, thank you guys for watching so much and uh, sayonara good night